Free 12 plastination, either fixed or fresh can be used. The fresh tissue makes the best uh, looking specimens. Free 12 plastination fixation with formaldehyde, 10% formaldehyde, pure formaldehyde, no additives. For plastination of uh, slices, we can use vascular injection, we can use a silicone, uh, which gives a color, nice color to the vessels intravascularly, or even better color is the E20 with either blue or red or whatever color you want to use. For slicing specimens, we use a bandsaw, a regular bandsaw. Before each time we use the bandsaw, we want to use a new blade to make sure it's very sharp. So once the um, blade has been changed, and we've changed this blade today, then we're going to cool the guide stop with uh, uh, liquid nitrogen. We take liquid, liquid nitrogen and uh, paint it on the guide stop to cool it. Once it's cooled, then we can start the slicing. Slicing will be about three millimeters, makes a nice slice. So we'll take this slice, and uh, once it's sliced and put it in cold acetone, after it's put in cold acetone, then we will uh, clean it, uh, take a uh, scalpel, and, and scrape off the sawdust. The uh, specimen has been frozen to minus 70, for three or four days to make sure that it's cold to get the best specimen. So he's slicing a three millimeter specimen down the long axis of a bone. Once the sawing is completed, we'll put the specimen in cold acetone to clean it. So here is the specimen, and you see the saw marks. We'll take it out here pretty soon and clean those saw marks, the sawdust off. More sawdust on this side, which will be cleaned off as we, uh, to get it ready for dehydration. This is cold acetone. Another slice. The slice tends to want to stick to the major piece because it's so cold. So again, we'll put it in cold acetone and then we will clean the slight sawdust off. So we have cut the slices now and so we need to take clean them to get the sawdust off. And we can see there's sawdust here and we have uh, two or three methods to remove this sawdust. Um, slices are put on a grid, and then we can use a scalpel blade to uh, scrape off the sawdust. So we just scrape it lightly to get the sawdust off, or we can use uh, a brush and to brush the sawdust off because if we don't take the sawdust off the slices won't look nice the sawdust will plastinate like everything else the other option is to use a peristaltic pump that has a brush on the end the brush on the end that circulates cold acetone through the brush. The brush is hollow and then we can circulate cold acetone. So we'll turn this on. You see the acetone coming through? And we brush it off. Sawdust off. We'll turn it over. Do the other side. We see the sawdust, we'll brush it off. 
It's important to keep the slice cold and frozen. That's why we use a circulating um, pump. And so we'll put it over a new acetone. We'll get the other slice and do the same with it. Removing the sawdust to make a nice uh, looking slice for plastination. And we can see the sawdust frozen to the specimen. Once the sawdust is removed, we'll shut off the pump and put it over here, making a nice sandwich stack of slices. We'll put uh, some fly screen on and a grid, and we'll use a heavier grid to make the complete the sandwich. We'll put this on a string to tie it together to prevent freezing our hands every time that we change the slices. This is a handy way to change the slices from one acetone bath to another. So once it's tied, then we have a nice uh, sandwich of slices and grid that we can change out of the um, acetone when we need to change it for the next acetone bath. For cleaning the slices, because we're using cold acetone, normally we would do this under a hood so that the fumes are evacuated. But for demonstration purposes and for best video purposes, we are using this uh, in a well-ventilated room, but it should be done under a hood. Thank you.